I know I said I remember who I talked to, but I don't remember who I talked to. I imagine I probably already talked to Nagito for some reason. I, I tried going to the third floor of Grape House. Oh, I didn't, I don't think. Oh, no, yeah. Um... Full of stuff on Ronakuma. Is that all? Yeah, okay. <laughs> but it's just Jackie said we don't ever need to go in there ever. Okay. So let's just talk to everyone again. I don't remember. Right. Our team's discovery number is number one. We should not lose. Also, yeah, she thinks it's a competition. Yeah, we did talk to him, actually, because he, he gave us... And we did talk also to Kazuichi. So we have to talk to the other crew now. Like this man over here, Gundam Tanaka, everybody's favorite quipper. <laughs> now that I present you my discovery. Let me tell you I won't this. let you say such nonsense like I forgot. Monokuma said it himself before we arrived here. He said there are ship parts in the funhouse. Hey, hey, could it be? <laughs> Kazuchi and you lowly humans, fall to your knees and show your gratitude to me, the overlord of ice of the destroyed wolf of death. <laughs> what is that? A motor, it's a ship part. Based on its extremely small size, isn't that? <laughs> That's just a radio control toy. Fine. Allow me to tell you a little old story. I'm okay, it's okay. I was born a result of a union between a human and a demon, and my existence was shunned by both races. Perhaps because nobody has ever bought me a toy before, but I believe this is truly remarkable. That's kind of sad, Gundam. Shut up! Shut We're up. asking about that. You mean the ship part you found was just some radio control toy? Loser! Go away. <laughs> I am surrounded by grapes. Go away. You totally got tricked! I never said a single word about a ship being real, stupid idiot! The thing is, though, like, Monokuma's tricks are not, tr like, smart tricks. They're, like, tricks that are, like, it's like, it's like slapping someone in the back of the head, head and going, gotcha. It's like, you just slapped me in the head. <laughs> that wasn't a trick. My head hurts. You slapped me. There's no trick. <laughs> it's like, it's like when someone throws something at someone in, like, the canteen in school. It's like, they just like, gotcha. It's like, no, you literally just threw something at him. Looks so like we don't even have the strength to get upset. Mm. It might be better if we leave him alone for a while. I mean, we should all be kind of upset about this. It was definitely a waste of time to believe Monokuma. I mean, at this stage, like, of course. If so, what he said about our student profiles might be a lie too. But our situation is getting so grim that I can't really focus on that right now. Truly. Let's talk to Nekimaru. Huh? We should first listen to the reports that the others have gathered. How are you doing, Chiaki? Personally, I write to that Chucky Kinder and talk, but everyone's report important to us. Should go. If you think for a second that Akane's report is going to be more important than Chucky's, then be my guest. Or Asami. You can eat Asami if you want, to be honest. How do you know? We won't know unless you try. You know what? Can do attitude. Eat her. I definitely want to end this way. You come into a party always uninvited with your weird belly. How are you doing, Fuyuhiko? Damn right. I'm sure the others already know, but let me tell you just in case. The second floor of Grape House has also a guest room similar to the ones in the second floor of Strawberry House. Hmm. But instead of being covered with strawberry patterns, they're covered with grape patterns. Patterns. Also, also like the guest rooms, there's a similar lounge uh, here as well. There's also a phone lounge too, which has a strawberry symbol on it as well, and has Nekamaro's dad as a picture as well. Or instead of the grape button, there was a phone in the strawberry house lounge. A phone in strawberry house's lounge. There's a strawberry button on the phone in the grape house's lounge. Now then. Now I'm just guessing at this point, but it's possible that we can use two phones to communicate with each other. For sure. So the picture on the button show where each phone connects to. The picture on the button shows where each phone connects to. That's probably it. Hey hey. Um, that was the la last report, right? Then is it okay if I go now? Of course. Oh my god, they skipped Asami! <laughs> yes, it's okay. Uh, this is what you mentioned earlier, right? About the structure of the funhouse? Let me ask. The structure of the funhouse? Well? Well, I've come to a conclusion. The grape tower that we're in currently, and the strawberry tower that we're in earlier, I think they're actually in the same building. <gasps> well, I... Was there a reason not to think that? Was I just being silly? The two towers are the same building, you say? <laughs> I see. What makes you think that? See? Their positions. Well? 
Inside the strawberry house, strawberry hall is on your left when you back uh, when your back is facing the elevator, right? Mm. But inside grape house, grape hall is on your right when your back is facing the elevator, right? And so, if we think about it and put those two together, the two towers are the same building and each house connects to the center. That building structure that comes to mind. Hmm. What? Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are the same building? But that might be a possibility. That might be a possibility. Come on, take a look at the door. Isn't that strawberry was the same one as the elevator and telephone? Then in the same way, wouldn't that image on the door also be showing where it leads to? I see. If that's the case, it would mean the strawberry house is beyond that door with the strawberry image on it. As well as the opposite, the grape door that was on the strawberry tower would lead to grape house. Meaning we opened the grape hall's door when we came in here. So... Meaning depending on which door we use, this tower changes to either the strawberry tower or grape tower. Wait, so it's the same building? But... It shifts the colors and the dynamic and stuff? That's why the elevator didn't move! <gasps> or vibrate! <gasps> That's actually pretty cool. Perhaps. Which means when you look at the other side of the grape hall door that we used to come in here. Yep. Yep, the grape picture should actually be on here. Hey. Then we all gotta do is confirm right if we can close the door from the other mm. side. Mm, that might be impossible. Is that what they're saying? Huh? Impossible? Why? Well, Hajime and Nakamura were the first ones to enter the Grape Tower, right? <gasps> What's wrong with that? Don't well? talk back to Chucky. Uh, when you enter the Grape Tower from Grape Hall, didn't it take a little while for the door to open after you pressed the button? Huh? See? So just as I assumed. How'd you know? Mm. When I was walking around by myself, I went back to the Strawberry House for a while. I feel like there was still something I missed suddenly. The Strawberry Hall door automatically closed in front of me. Mm -hmm. The door automatically closed? Yep. And afterward, no matter how much I pressed the button, the strawberry hall door wouldn't open. Um, but why? Perhaps. The doors to strawberry tower and grape tower must be designed so that only one can open at a time. See? I mean, if both doors open at the same time, we'd easily find out that both towers are the same building. If that happens, it wouldn't be a fun us anymore, right? Mm. Then the reason the strawberry hall door is automatically closed in front of you so what I was mean because is... we opened the grape hall door. Yep. When that happened, the Great Paul door didn't open because it was uh, waiting for the Strawberry Hall's door to close. If you think about it like that, it makes sense, right? Like? Like you're saying all this hard stuff I don't get, but aren't you forgetting the most basic problem? The color of the walls in Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are different, you know? There's no way the same building, uh, they're the same building. You don't know? You notice there's just lights on the floor being shined on the wall. By reflecting a color of light onto the, wa the white wall, it makes it look like the wall color has changed. Great. Then what about the picture on the floor? Is that different too? Mm -hmm. Maybe the floor is just a screen and the picture is being projected from beneath the floor. In fact, when you look at it closely, it's not a picture that was actually drawn on the floor. I got it. Then it's safe to say they're the same building, right? But, but this is a very important problem. So isn't it better if we test it out? Test? Um, For example, we should leave something behind here and we should all go to Strawberry Tower. I think one of the only, like, few criticisms of the dialogue that I usually have in Danganronpa games is that sometimes when they're explaining stuff, they will go into so much detail to the point that it feels like I'm forgetting something. <laughs> it feels like, like, this is the same topic, and, like, we're gonna get to the same solution no matter if there was half the dialogue or the full amount of dialogue, and I feel like no matter what, we're gonna get to the same place with the same amount of, like, discussion. But I feel really like sometimes they like they do draw it out. Not all the time, okay? They do. Draw. I know, like I know some people are gonna be like, "Wait, someone made fun of Precious Dungarumpa." I love the game. It's literally, like the first game's a ten out of ten. I'm just saying. Right. And if it's still there, we conclude that they're the same building, right? I see. You want me to say then? Hold on. No, that's impossible. There's a sensor preventing that. Huh? Sensors? Huh? Don't you feel that there are countless centers plastered over the tower's walls and floors? <laughs> Why can't you notice them? Hey, hey. I'm more surprised that you actually noticed them. Huh? My guess is that the sensor can probably detect any movement in the tower. Mm. And when it reacts, it prevents the door from opening. I knew there'd at least be something like that. Hey. By the way, how good is that sensor's performance? Mm. It's quite high performance. It seems that it can even detect your heartbeats and breathing patterns. I get it. 
It would be completely impossible for someone to stay behind. Hey, hey! What about Nekamaro? He's a heartless robot. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I have a motor running inside me. It's as good as any human heart. I mean, not really. Like, you know, he didn't really show much heart when you were human either. <laughs> Sorry? I didn't hear that. I didn't hear what this, whoever was saying that. Uh, but if you're in sleep mode, that function will come to a, st a stop too, right? Sheesh. Like you said, if I see all function with sleep mode, the sensor won't detect it, but... Do you need to go that far to test it? You won't tolerate any robo prejudice. I won't tolerate it. Sorry, you're right. Mm. I want to enter sleep mode. I will not regain consciousness until the good night switch is pressed again, or if my chest alarm goes off. <laughs> I'm really concerned about being left alone in that state. It's far too dangerous, even an for an, as an experiment. It is possible that we might violate the laws of robotics. Hey, hey. Then why don't we just use this? My student handbook. I'll leave this handbook here, and we'll all move over to Strawberry Tower. And if by chance the handbook is still there, we can save the state of the two towers the same, right? This is why she's so smart. Gamer Brain Chiaki. Gamer Brain Chiaki. Gamer Brain Chiaki. You're right, let's try this. So smart, so smart. Actually, not gamer brain, because gamer gamers aren't generally smart. So then we left Grave Tower and made our way to Strawberry Tower. Here, I guess. Wait, are we all? Why are we here? We're going here. Whoa! Everyone's just laid out. You okay, Soda? Hey. Including Nakamura's functions, Monokuma sure does have a lot of useless technology. But still, Monokuma looks like he's pretty high tech himself. I have not if I get serious, I will not be captured by a mere yet. sensor. <laughs> but even so, it does not sound boring. Maybe, I don't know, dude. It is strange. No? It seems you're all being quite rude to Nekamaru. Have you never heard of the three laws of robotics? The three laws of robotics, I'm not familiar. Right. Very well, I should explain. If this continues, I'll feel all of, just awful for Nekamaru, but I think it's best if we head towards Strawberry Tower for now. Yes. Ah, you're right. Let us discuss this in greater detail later. I'm okay. Sonya. Sonya, Sonya, Sonya. Sonya. My girl, Sonya. I've never been mean to Nekamaru, in fairness, you know? Sorry, they're not like joke. Jeez. I can't believe he's such a, uh, well, well, it's not like it's something new. The whole time, Monokuma was doing a lot of intricate stuff. Okay. Uh. Uh, okay. Uh, hey, Chucky. Hey, hey. After traveling to Strawberry Hall to Strawberry Tower, if the handbook is still there, we can safely say that the two towers are in the same building. Yeah, but Monokuma might move it. You never know with Monokuma. He might just move it. Okay. Oh, here you go. <laughs> How are you doing, bud? Huh? It's better if just hurry up and check it out. Let's go. What was that? Sorry, I saw something on my TV when it went to the white light. Let's go to Strawberry Tower from here, yeah? I see. I, I must see. say this elevator is rather quiet. It's like the Toad's Ward. Oh wait, never mind. Hey, hey. Toad's Ward? What's she talking about? It doesn't feel like we're moving extremely fast. It's, it's moving very slowly. If so, the two houses might be surprisingly uh. close. If the two hours are connected in the middle, the distance between them shouldn't be that much. Here we go. All right, let's head to the Strawberry Tower. Let's go. Let's go to Strawberry Tower. Let's go. I guess I, I think they're going to have the similar... Oh, Gundam. Hello. Oh, they're all there. Yep. Hey, hey. Then I'll press it. Stay Wait, step aside, you fiends. Jesus. What? Emissary of evil in accordance with the ARH ancient contract. The time has come to me to lend your aid. Piercing through supernova silver fox and D. Choo choo. Click. And press the button? Truly, this is a skyline lamentation art of the demon mouse. Soon the door of destiny shall open. Wow, your hamsters are truly skilled. Of course you're impressed by this as well. And I am too, to be honest. Like, the hamsters doing that is pretty shocking, but it's not the most shocking thing we've seen in the game. So you have appeared. I see your eyes managed to follow Sandy's movements. As expected, the Dark Lady, you may have my praise. Amazing! Amazing. Truly amazing. You must have a strong, trusting relationship with them. That... Oh! Ooh, my 
Wago. Red face Gundam. Huh? You need to bother making your hamster press it. Oh, you decide you don't have a hamster to press it either? You can use your hamster if you want. Hmm. Just as I thought it's taking a while to open. Hmm. Considering what we discussed earlier, the sensor will confirm that nothing is moving inside the tower, then wait for the other door to close. <coughs> I then when I heard a loud sound on the other side of the door. Wait, what? <coughs> it's there. Yep, it confir confirmed. Confirmed. Hi. Confirmed. Very cool. Look over there. The one we set foot inside Strawberry Tower, Sonya raised her voice when I looked where she was pointing. It's there, the handbook. Yep. Yep, there's no doubt. This is my student handbook. <gasps> if the handbook Chucky left in the Great Tower is here, then that means <laughs> it seems that we've confirmed it. Yep. Strawberry Tower and Great Tower are actually the same building. And depending on whether you enter from Strawberry Hall or Grape Hall, the tower becomes either Strawberry Tower or Grape Tower. That's really cool. Huh? Then the door over there with the grape image on it. I see. It's not the exit, but it appears to be it's connected to the Grape House Grape Hall. This is troubling. But it also means we have, we have no idea where the exit is. Hey. Well, I guess that can't be helped. There's no way we'd actually find the exit that easily. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm surprised. I can't believe you already undercovered a secret like this. As expected of Chiaki, you're truly amazing. She is. Normally all you do is stare into space, but at times like this, you really put through, uh, pull through it for us. However... And she's staring into space. I'm sorry I skipped that joke so easily. That was really good. However, why was this building designed so strangely? You're so evil. There's probably no reason. It's Why are you calling it evil? It's probably it's a fun house. That's all the reason Monokuma needs. Hmm. Mm, who are you again? Oh, I like Akane. Akane's funny. <laughs> I'm Usami. Did you forget about me? <clears throat> that reminds me, whatever happened to Monoku? I like that, like, it's completely intentional to be uh, mean to Usami at this stage. The game is doing it too. They knew huh? she would be annoying. What do you mean? Just According to my internal clock, it's already past 10 p.m. Oh my. Huh? It's that time already? Damn it. Despite that, why hasn't there been a Monoku announcement? Monoku! Let me answer. Every single day up until now, I have consistently let you know that it's morning and night on this island. And thanks to that, you've been able to live a normal life. You guys. Did you guys mistake me for some kind of petty alarm clock? Hell. Oh, well, it's truly, it's totally true that I'm pretty, but... <laughs> hey, what are you trying to say? Hmm. For the time being, Monica... Oh my god, that's gonna drive people nuts. If we didn't have the eternal clock, we'd be going nuts. You can't go outside and there's no windows here, so it's not like it matters if it's morning or night. <laughs> also, I'm mean, thinking of a little something to replace the Monokuma announcement. <laughs> I don't this like is torture. This. This is legit torture. Like, this is actual torture. Like, there's no excuse. Like, unless it's Junko, I suppose, and then we might have to forgive her. But, like, it, I don't think there's any excuse for this. What's wrong with him? Well, if there's no announcement, we can just look at the clock. Um. But both Strawberry House and Grape House have clocks in their first four lounges. <laughs> Even if I don't look at the clock, I have my internal clocks. So there's no problem for me, anyway. <laughs> Sorry, past 10 p.m., but I'm starting to feel sleepy after hearing that. Hmm. We don't have food. It might be better if we rest and conserve our energy. Hey. For now, let's just decide our room assignments. Room assignments? Um. Each house has five guest rooms, so we should first decide who's going to stay in which house. I think that we'll have to huddle together for warmth, so I don't know. I have no problem with me and, you know, Soda and Fuyuhiko, like, just, like, huddling together, like, ooh, ooh, cozy. Mm. And why don't we make things simple and split them between boys and girls? Right. One boy, one girl. Me and Sonya... No, no, I get what you're saying. I'm sorry, Chiaki. I'm sorry. Yes. Yes, let us do that. Man. It's a bummer, but well, I guess it makes sense. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's such a bummer. Dude, like, it's okay. Your hat's kind of cool, though, I guess. This too. Then ladies now first. Then, let us be Yo, the kittens, choose which house you would like. From anyone else, that would sound so, like, bad. But, like, for some reason from Gundam, it sounds like actually kind of endearing, calling someone a kitten. You know what I mean? Um. <laughs> Let's just choose Grape House. Staring at the room is just going to strain my eyes. Then oh. the main men should love Strawberry House. Strawberry men are known for passion. Hey. Also, each house's guest rooms are varying quality, right? Damn right. Wasn't it two deluxe rooms, one standard room, and two crummy rooms? For now. And we need to decide those next, huh? With only five rooms in each house, right? Then one guy will be left over. Sure. And that means there are only one. There's only one appropriate way to settle this. Appropriate way? Rock, paper, scissors, of course. I'll take the crummy room. I'll take the crummy room. Suddenly, the rock, paper, scissors battle between six guys had begun, and the results? <laughs> Sorry, I ended up winning so easily. 
Like, remember when you decided to lose so easily with the drawing system before? That's right, I totally forgot that Nagito is the ultimate lucky student. There you go. <laughs> so I take second place. That's fine. I was getting bored if I was being on top. Where are you now? We can change it. We can change it up. You don't always, always have to be on top. Sometimes you be on bottom. You know? Uh, really, it all depends on how, you know, the other person feels, I suppose, as well. Huh? It's so you two will get a deluxe room, now then we're guarding the third winner. <laughs> it's me! I'll be resting in the standard room. You're a robot! Damn right. You mean Kazuichi, you're next. Man. So, so I get a crummy room, huh? Well, it's better than rooming with someone. Me? Soda? That's unfortunate, Hajime. You can rest in the lounge. We're trying not to catch a cold. Why can't we sit sleep in the same room? Hey. How about you Grape House girls? Do you all pick your rooms as well? Yep. Yes, we did. We had a brief discussion and settled things smoothly. Sonya and I have the deluxe room, and apparently Akane wants the crummy rooms. Mm -hmm. well, why did you use the crummy room? There's still a standard room left over. It's not like that. It's good enough for me. You guys might think it's pretty crabby, but it's a palace compared to my home. Um. So there is a standard room and a crummy room left. She clearly had a broken home of some kind. <laughs> Someone's gonna time stamp and be like, See Calvin FGs! If you'd like, please use one of them. Delete your timestamp. Hey, hey, hey! You can't do that! Oh my! Why not? Well... I mean, it's dangerous. Hajime might be the traitor, you know. Um... What are you saying? Miss Sonia? What am I, uh... Huh? You just um, want to stay in the room. We haven't doubted Hajime at all. Yes, the girls have never doubted me. Go, girls. Here are for the girls. Like... Even I don't think you tried to trick us. Oh my god, I love these girls. Akane, high five. You're the best character now. <laughs> <laughs> it seems that you're the only one who taught uh, Hajime is suspicious. Hey. Really? Of all people, you're gonna say that? You're really gonna say that? Right? Hajime, you use one of our leftover rooms. I love the girls, man. They're so good. Thank you so much. Thank you. I feel bad about using the standard room, so I'll stay in the crummy room. But even so, it really helps that I have a place to sleep. Oh. Now it's decided. We should turn in for the day. Aw, oh, man. It's like, it doesn't make any sense. You're right. I get to stay with the girls, but guess what? Guess what? It do it's not a big deal. We're all gonna be sleeping in separate rooms, you big fool. You big dummy. And so all the guys except for me ended up staying in the night on the second floor strawberry house. And the girls, plus my leftover self, stayed on the second floor grape house. I'm gonna... I'm gonna give you ten seconds to get out of my sight. Okay? I'm gonna give you ten seconds, alright? And if, the t if I, I'm gonna open my eyes, and if you're still here, I'm gonna do this... I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna go down to delete, and I'm gonna delete the game. Okay, you got 10 seconds to say what you're gonna say, okay? You're being timed. Jeez, I thought I was forgotten. Well, I'm used to it after all. Okay, that's kind of adorable. <laughs> you get a point. There you go, Asami. One point for Asami. <laughs> And she did it in 10 seconds. I gotta give it to her. We'll give it to Asabi. It's the second floor Grape House. <laughs> Choosing Grape House was definitely a good decision. I agree. The red is ready, straining on eyes. And what do you mean? Um, you see, Strawberry House is quite is quadrilated. Quadrilateral. Quad quadrilateral. Quadrilateral. <laughs> but Grape House is hexagonal. Hex <laughs> Professor McGonagall. Hexagonal. <laughs> that means this place is far more spacious. It is quite a good bargain. For a princess, you sure do think about petty stuff. Sleepy. Oh, sleepy. Every time she says it, I want to yawn. The deluxe rooms are the two rooms at the far back, right? Is it okay if we go already? Yeah. The two rooms at the front are the crappy rooms, right? Hajime, you use the room next to the lounge. Then... So the standard room across the lounge will remain unoccupied. Easy, yes, I shall pair name plates for our rooms later. I shall also include portraits of everyone's face. You don't need to draw our faces, but the name plates might be a good idea. Good night. Then good night. After reaching the limits of her sleepiness, Chiaki staggered over to her deluxe room. Good day. Now she'll retire for the evening as well. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Good night, Akane. Okay, I had a great day with you. I like you now. You're great, okay? Great day with you. Thank you so much. After changing good nights, everyone went into their guest rooms. I should get some sleep too. And I think it was assigned the crummy room that's next to the lounge. Yeah, Akane's in the good books. Let's do a new ranking. Here we are. It's time for the new rankings. Okay, so here we go. Uh, there's how many people left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
eight people left. So we have to go from eight upwards. So least favorite, Nekamaru, eight. Seven would then be Gundam, Tanaka. Then number six would be, I suppose, Nagito. Yeah. Number five would be, actually, sorry, I counted me as alive. We're number one. <laughs> number five would be uh, Chiaki. Number four would be Sonya Nevermind. Number three... No, no, I'm ranking this all wrong. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna start again. Seven, this time seven. Seven. I think uh, seven, uh, six, five, four, three, two. Wait, there's two people left. And for now, you guys can both sit at one. We'll see who's number one, it's really. I can't, I can't count, apparently. But there you go. There's your rankings for now. <laughs> it was eight. I counted right the first time. And I just doubted myself for some reason. Okay, I guess we have to go to the room that's closest to the lounge, which is this one here. Crummy room. I mean, why not? Like, this has been a really fun, uh, fun... Like, it's terrifying, like, from their perspective, but from my perspective, it's really funny. I like this room. This isn't a bad room. Apart from maybe this shitty, uh... Uh, blanket, I suppose, in the patch to get her pillow. This is a surprisingly shabby guest room. It's a little cold in here. The draft coming from the door is making me hungry. Why is there a draft? We're like airtight shut in. But I shouldn't be talking like that. For now, I need to endure no matter what. No matter what happens, I will definitely prevent a killing from happening. I won't let Monokuma get what he wants. I don't know about that. Last time I made fun of the Monokuma Theater, uh, I think somebody was like, said I raced through it. Uh, we definitely won't do that this time, even though I, oh, maybe we'll. To tell you the truth, I'm out of ideas. There I did. I'm out of ideas. I could tell throughout the entire game. <laughs> the the Monokuma Theater in the first game is great. It's morning already. Now that there are no Monokuma announcements, I don't feel like my usual self anymore. There should be a clock in the lounge. I should head over there and see what time it is. I actually look forward to the Monokuma Theaters in the first game. Oh, we have the pictures on it. So we have Hajime. My girl Akane. We have Standard Room. But over here we have Sonya and Chiaki. And we have the lounge over here too, which is nice. This is still horrible to look at, right? This is still horrible to look at. But look. The music... Feels so it feels so weird being locked inside a place. Oh, that's upstairs, isn't it? Sorry. No, I just forgot. Oh, the lounge. Oh, sorry. It's a big lounge. Grape House has a bigger lounge. Let's see, the time is 9 a.m. It's later than I'm used to waking up, but I guess it still counts as morning. Now then, what should I do now? Uh, in this kind of situation, panicking will accomplish nothing. It might be better if I spend time like I normally do for as long as I can. I should find someone to talk to. It might be a good idea to just stay in my room and conserve my energy. Free time? In here? But there's no- I can't get more free time gifts. Can we check where everyone is? So... You, Akane's in the crummy room. Chiaki's there. Where is Soda? We have to max out Soda at this point. Like, at this point, wait, he might he might not want to talk to us, so that's the only thing. Soda might not want to talk to us. Go away, traitor. Wait, so he just won't talk to us. We're s Soda, he wouldn't talk to us last time either. Soda, like, we're so close. Okay, if we can't talk to Soda, we're gonna talk to Fuyuhiko. That's what we said we talked to. So Fuyuhiko was gonna be the next uh, character that we uh, speak with, and we're gonna do that in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this episode was kind of weird, but uh, I feel like in the next one we're gonna start our free time events and get really into it. Uh, I s announced it on Twitter, but we will have a Christmas video, a uh, video coming out on Christmas of probably Danganronpa. 
Uh, the reason being is I've skipped Christmas videos every single year and only uploaded like, like a short Christmas message. I forget that I watch YouTube on Christmas after our family time is over. Uh, so I want you guys who are looking forward to this series to have something to watch. And I will see you guys for that as well. Uh, goodbye. Uh, God bless. And I will say as well... Um, you guys have, uh, with your viewership, you're clicking and with all the stuff, not clicking on ads, don't do that. That's something you can never, uh, I'm not saying that, but with all that, oh, you dead? Let's see what we get. Don's gonna be Pigby though. I love Pigby. <laughs> How was I supposed to think about my pet in, this, in times like this? How long do we have left as little grows? Oh, I didn't know you can run backwards. That's gonna make things so easy. So, how was your day? I hope you're all doing well. How much do we have left? How much do we have left? Pet! 46. What do we get? What do we get? Oh, it's a bunny again? I might reload my save. <laughs>